This video is captured by Chief Engineer Mr. Bikish Biswas while he was on duty in some part of world. The rare phenomenon of the sea and shorelines sometimes could be caught by the lens of the mariners. Mr. Biswas would like to share his knowledge and expertise regarding this type of unusual phenomenon to alert people and fellow seafarers, maritime stakeholders regarding the precautions to be take before, during and after a tsunami. So, let's start. A tsunami is a series of traveling ocean waves caused by a sudden disturbance of the ocean floor such as an underwater earthquake, when the sea floor quickly moves up or down, a rock slide, a volcanic eruption, or another high-energy event, that sets in motion a large mass of water that spreads outward in all directions. Tsunamis have an extremely long wavelength, the distance between the crest of one wave and the crest of the next wave, of up to several hundred miles long and can travel across entire ocean basins away from the disturbance or source area. The time between two successive waves can also be very long, about an hour in deep water. Tsunamis are sometimes incorrectly called, tidal waves, but tsunamis are not caused by the tides. Tides are caused by the gravitational interactions between the sun, moon and earth. Preparing for a tsunami It's important to be ready for a tsunami and to know the natural tsunami warning signs so you're not caught unprepared. A tsunami can travel at more than 970 km per hour, 600 miles per hour, in the open ocean. It can travel a long distance in only a few hours or less, sometimes surprising areas that are affected by the tsunami, so it's important to know the tsunami safety rules. Be tsunami smart and know the natural signs if you are on the coast and you, feel a strong and long earthquake see an unusual disappearance of water, or oncoming wall of water. Tsunami may be preceded by a rapid fall in sea level as the ocean recedes, exposing reefs, rocks, and fishes on the sea bottom. Tsunami often come ashore as a wall of water hair the roar, abnormal ocean activity, a wall of water, and approaching tsunami create a loud, roaring sound similar to that of a train or jet aircraft Rue don't wait for official evacuation orders. Immediately leave low-lying coastal areas move inland to higher ground run if you see a tsunami coming to higher ground or as far inland as possible some of the most important things you can do to prepare are, know if your property is at risk, with the help of local authorities identify potentially vulnerable areas, especially low-lying coastal locations, and consider what could be affected including your home, businesses, workplace and other critical facilities. Make plans, if you live or work in a low-lying coastal area make yourself familiar with the quickest way to retreat to high ground and have a well-prepared personal evacuation plan, make sure all family members know the evacuation plan and take part in the local community processes for planning, preparedness, hazard mapping, evacuation planning and search and rescue. Agree on a close friend or relative that should be contacted if children cannot reach their parents and vice versa. Be aware of your surroundings, identify concrete steel reinforced multi-story buildings, at least three three stories that can be used for vertical evacuation if necessary. If you're close to or on the coast and the water recedes quickly and unexpectedly from a beach this is called drawback, or there is an earthquake, move to high ground at once. Do not stay to see what happens. Some beaches have tsunami warning sirens, so do not ignore them. The first wave in a tsunami is off.